Hi everyone. Um, so I'm just here. I wanted to give my input on what's currently going on with men ever since Kevin Samuels has gained popularity in his commentary on specifically women of a certain age and women that are single parents. Um, I do agree with Kevin because he's talking about high value men. So if you just go off of that and put aside all the other men, ladies, then you'll understand where he's coming from. They are going to be picky. You know, because they do have options. There are tons of pretty women, smart, in shape. You know, my grandma always told me there's always somebody better, smarter, faster, etc etc but what i am noticing is a lot if not the majority of unattractive average men seeming to think that the information that kevin is giving the women that call in that they are like that basically what i'm saying they are thinking they are the high value men if you go in on the comment section of his videos or anybody any man that has made a video in regards to what kevin has been saying you will see a whole lot of unattractive average men um doing a whole lot of hoopla now i get it this is your time to have your 15 minutes of fame the uh, a light has been shown on certain flaws in women so i get it and i can support that up to a certain extent um but you guys are getting beside yourself um you guys are so fascinated with the flaws of women especially black women that you guys are overlooking your flaws you guys are overlooking your value that is decreasing as well when it comes to the unattractive men you're unattractive for one, your physical appearance, meaning you're not in shape. Two, your attractiveness. You're not handsome. Some are barely cute. Most of our rank will be like, all right, passable. And, um, but you've got so much stuff to say about women. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Okay, well, how about you guys do this? How about you go work out? You tell women to work out. You, you complain about our BMI and this, this, and that. Okay, well, then you go work out. Because the average man, if you listen to Kevin, he does speak a lot about average men and what they look like. The average man does not look like um, like a professional athlete. You're not built like that. Most of you guys got a one-pack, which is a belly. Why don't you go to the gym get your six-pack, get your biceps, work on your legs. How about that? Why are you busy telling single people? Mom said, oh, you might as well just forget it. Ain't nobody's going to want to deal with you and your kid. That's too much baggage and all that stuff. Okay, fine. If you don't want to date a single parent, I'm not against that. That's your right. But don't knock it so bad that you forget about your flaws. So let me remind you about your guys' flaws. You always, a lot of guys are always so quick to talk about bringing women back to reality. Well, I'm about to bring... The majority of men back to reality you're unattractive women was not checking for you and most of the time right now they're not checking for you that's why they are severely competing for high value men and especially the attractive ones you see i hear a lot of there's a risk associated with specifically with single parents in regards to their children because you feel that you can't discipline them. Um, you feel like you can't have no input in their lives. And a lot of comments were saying that it's a thankless job. Um, even with that said, there are cases that have been known throughout the world of successful step parenting. But yet we want to ignore that and just make it all bad. Um, ever since Kevin gave his experience of being a step parent, I noticed people cop men have copied his same exact wording. He said it was a thankless job. All of a sudden, every man says it's a thankless job. 
That was his experience. He chose who he chose. Just like y'all keep telling us, oh, you chose that person to be your child's father. Well, I'm going to say the same thing in regards to Kevin. He chose that woman. And just because he had a bad experience does not mean it's going to always be a bad experience. It's going to always be a thankless job. That's incorrect. So let me tell you the risks with dating an unattractive average man. For one, they can barely provide for the household. That's why the majority of successful uh, average families have a two income. Because you as a man cannot do it on your own. The woman has to now enter the workforce to help provide for the home. Two, you're unattractive. Who wants to lay down with somebody unattractive? Wake up to somebody unattractive. You see, that's where your value decreases. You talk about over time, an uh, older woman would just get more older. True, that's just natural facts. But you guys forget that not all older women look that age or look old. Two, you're an unattractive man. So, which means as you get older, what happens with your unattractiveness? It gets even more unattractive. Mm. So, now when I first met you, you was unattractive, but I could deal with it, right? No, no problem. But now you aging. And men, in my opinion, age worse than women. Now, the big risk with dating an unattractive average man is, there's a 50% chance if you choose to continue a relationship with this person and choose to have children, there's a 50% chance that your children will be unattractive as well. And I never in the history of being human beings being on this planet have I ever heard somebody say, oh, I hope my child is unattractive. Never. So if a single mom is taking a risk of dating an unattractive average man, then that should be a fair trade-off, right? Because if you view my a child, someone that has a child as a negative, then I'm going to view your unattractive as negative. So now we should cancel each other out, right? So just let me know your thoughts down below, especially unattractive average man. Please let me know down in your comments below about what you feel about what I stated. I think it's time for everybody to understand that everybody has flaws. Almost everybody has made a bad decision in life that resulted in some sort of consequences. It does not mean life should end for them. They should not try or hope for certain things. Yes, in hindsight, it might not happen. But hey, don't knock somebody to the point where they feel like they have nothing left. No options. Because now you unattractive men are pretty much saying that you don't want no single parent or older woman. When really it kind of works in your favor. Think about it. These women, before they got into their circumstances, wasn't checking for you, right? Because they had options. Well, now they kind of got knocked down, right? According to y'all rules and stuff. So now unattractive men have attractive women options now. Because before, unattractive people could only get unattractive people. It's very rare that an attractive person would get in a long-term relationship with somebody unattractive. So, be thankful that some women have messed up in their lives. They gave you some more options. So, like, comment, and subscribe. For more content if you like this type of videos let me know i can make some more and um lastly i want to uh, end with this um i'm not here to bash any men i like men um i do feel that men are important to society and um yeah like i said i, I love men there's nothing to bash them or put them down but i just wanted to make sure that we both both genders know both of our flaws and not to be sitting up here on our high horses because your flaw is different from this person's flaw. Or you view, you view your flaw as better than this person's flaw. Think of it in the context of the Lord. The Lord says, 
any sin is not right with him. It don't matter if you're the murderer, child raper, or you curse, or fornication. He views it all the same. So let's how about instead of further dividing us, especially the black community, how about we start speaking things to bring us back together? We can't help what has already been set. We can't go back and change it, but we can fix it from now and on. There's new generations coming up, so we need to be better role models for these new generations. That's coming from both genders, not just women, but men. Because men have high sex counts. Men are also out here making babies. But see, the child normally goes with the mother, so you don't get to see it that often. So we, we all we all share with, with some of the flaws. So let's just get over it, work together, and try to find some ways to build our community back up. Thank you guys for your time, and see you later. Bye.